Let's take a look at a table analysis question. Remember, with table analysis on the integrated reasoning section of the GMAT, you're going to have your ability to interpret information and data in spreadsheets tested. Since it is a spreadsheet, you will have sorting functions and you'll be able to sort based off all the different column headers. In order to sort, you're going to use the drop down menu next to the sort by and choose the column header you want to sort by. And in table analysis questions, the multiple dichotomous choice questions are true false statements and you'll have three of these statements you have to answer in order to get the one table analysis question correct. There is no partial credit on the integrated reasoning section. Let's take a look at this example. When this comes up on test day, the first thing you want to do is not get stuck looking at all the numbers and information. In fact, a vast majority of what you currently see on the screen will have nothing to do with the three statements that you have to answer. You won't use most of the data. So don't worry about the data itself, but rather get the gist of what's going on on this table. Start by reading the little paragraph that accompanies the table that is above the true false statements. Here we're learning about 20 educational retreat houses that offer classes. And then each column header is about like costs uh, or amenities. And in this case, these column headers are how we're going to be able to sort. So it's nice to quickly read through the different column headers. The minimum rate for retreat. The number of classes offered per day. The rate for initial class. The discount rate for additional classes. The room is whether it's included with the retreat. And meals, whether they're included with the retreat. We're not going to get stuck in the data now. We're going to immediately turn our attention to the first true-false statement. Of the retreats that include meals but not a room in their cost, the retreat with the lowest rate for additional classes. That's what we want to focus on. If it's the den, we mark true. If it's not the den, we mark false. So let's sort. We want to look at retreats that include meals but not a room. So let's look at those two categories. We want meals included, which is actually a huge majority of the retreats, versus rooms not included which there are actually quite few places that don't include the room in the, retreat, the retreat. So let's use this sort. Let's sort by whether they include the room or not, because that limits the number of options here to very few. Of the places that don't include a room, which places include meals? It's just the three, German House, La Casa Bonita, and The Den. Of these three, we need to go then to the rate for each additional class. And of these three, the lowest rate is $25. And who does that belong to? It belongs to the den. The den absolutely has the lowest rate for each additional class. And as a result, we can mark this statement as true. Sorting strategically there and using the sort by room included with the retreat versus instead of the meals included with the retreat made our life a lot easier. Let's look at the next. Let's look at the next true false statement. Of the retreats including a room in their cost, the retreat with the second least expensive rate for an initial class is Helen's Healing Hideaway. So let's start by looking at the rooms with a, that include, uh, let's start by looking at a ret the retreats that include a room in their cost. We've already got that sorted. So we're looking at all of the ones that say yes. We then want to find the second least expensive rate for an initial class. So we don't need to sort here. Let's just go to the initial class and find the cheapest rate. The cheapest rate amongst the places that include a room is $15 at Craft Cottage. After $15, what's the second cheapest? We can see that all the way down, it's got to be this $40. Once we acknowledge that $40 is the second cheapest of the retreats that include a room in their cost, we then go over and we find out that's Little Red Retreat. Since it's Little Red Retreat and not Helen's Healing Hideaway, we absolutely can mark this false 
and move on to our third and final statement. In our third and final statement, it states, no retreat that offers two classes per day and includes meals has a better minimum rate than retreats that offer three or more classes per day. So we've got to sort by number of classes offered per day. And we're solely interested in the ones that offer only two classes per day. Since it then says it also includes meal, meals, instead of trying to figure out which of these two, uh, which of these retreats that offer two classes a day also includes meals, let's just go this way. Let's find out what the least expensive minimum rate for these places that offer two classes per day is. And the least expensive rate of these classes from here all the way down to here is $40 at Riders Camp. So let's make sure though that qualifies. And it qualifies if meals are included. So we go over to the meals and we find out no, they're not included. So Riders Camp doesn't count. Let's then find the next least expensive minimum rate. After $40, going all the way back up through the classes that uh, the places that offer two classes, we see the next least expensive rate is $95 at Gone Fishing. So let's make sure this qualifies because we need this place to uh, include meals with the retreat. And when we go over, yes, meals are included. So the least minimum rate for play, retreat places that offer two classes per day and include meals is $95. Now we want to compare that to the minimum rate, the least minimum rate, of the retreats that offer three or more classes per day, meaning from here all the way up to here. Of these places, what's the minimum, or the least minimum rate for retreat? The least expensive place is Craft Cottage at $99. Gone Fishing at 95 is cheaper than Craft Cottage at 99 and therefore the statement that no retreat that offers two classes per day and includes meals has a better minimum rate than retreats that offer three or more classes per day is absolutely false. We just proved that Gone Fishing is cheaper than Craft Cottage and we're good to go. When working with table analysis questions, what's really important is to remember first to get the gist of the table. Take any notes onto your noteboard that you believe are important, but don't get bogged down in the details. Rather, pay attention to the column headings. Pay attention to the paragraph of information you're provided. That's what's important, not the numbers or the information on the charts. Because in the end, what's going to make you better at table analysis is knowing how to sort and when to sort, and how to sort strategically to help you sift through uh, as few pieces of information as possible to find your correct answer.